All right, thank you. Governor Zogu is here. Son of the great Shanamite that lives among the angels. The people's governor is here. Governor Zogu is here. Thank you. Thank you for having me here tonight. Governor Zogu is here. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you all for being here. Son of the great Shanamite is here. <laughs> Somebody said longest time. Yes, I am here. Thank you, Governor Zoku is here. I am here tonight. Thank you for joining me. I have so many things to deal with. I have so many things to deal with here. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Governor Zoku is here. I'm doing fine. Thank you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Alibo mama no mara monagi. Alibo mama no mara monagi. Alanke libo mama no mara monagi, brother. Oya bola tinya kaka imezi obo dani. Alibo mama no mara monagi yo. Alibo mama no mara monagi. Alanke libo mama mama no mara monagi. Nze. This my brother always gives me stars. This my brother here. Nzemega Marin. I so much appreciate. I always get the stars you send to me here. I appreciate. Thank you, everyone. God bless you is here. Thank you, God bless you is here. The people's governor is here. Now, tonight, broadcast, I decided I was going to come live on this page. It's been a very long time. I decided not to be coming live here. I decided if I post what I like, I just walk away. But today, I made a decision that I was going to be here. I decided I was going to be here. I saw a publication made by Omoyele Showere. Showere, Governor Zogu is here to ask you these very simple questions. Are you being fair? Are you being fair? Because the same people you were trying to defend right now, you come up, you write, you write whatever you like. Show what stops you from publishing the picture of Pastor David Oedipo and maybe tag him those things. This, our brother, one of our brother, I mean, you were defending, tagged our own brother. What stops you from doing the same thing to your Yoruba brother? Show what I'm here to ask you these very few questions. It is so painful that sometimes people choose to defend their friends, even when their friends are wrong. You once printed poster, you want to become the president of Federal Republic of Nigeria. And we all appreciate that. That's a good move. But if at all you went there, If at all you assumed office as president of this country, so you would have been supporting this kind of abnormalities. People will start crying justice for social thing, justice for social thing. Did you actually preach and stick to justice in the beginning? Did you do so? 
did you do so i choose to use a platform like this to ask you a question otherwise i should have done that at my backup page the people's governor but i decided at all cost i was going to be here what stops you from printing the picture the picture of um what's it called david abioye what stops you from printing the pictures of these people then tag them those things these guys we are able to tag on some of our preachers who are from the eastern region when we talk about church the big big churches across the country they are owned by your brothers so why haven't we seen any Yoruba person who is going to print posters and tag the person to be a frost star then jump around the streets at least you should have cheered it you should have you should have headed it You should have led one in your own area. But because some of my people had their church of my they know they think like human beings. I have to be putting some words, removing some words because of Facebook. So those things you engineer the, our people to do, have you been able to ginger your own Yoruba brothers to do the same thing? But you've not done that. What stops you from doing that, Tomo Now you are you are you are tagging it to be irresponsible, abnormality, and pervert of justice. That somebody was reminded to the prison custody. What stops you from doing the same thing? Because some of our people, they really think like human beings. On a good day, peaceful. For on our own side. When you see your Yoruba senior brother, even if he's wrong, you're going to bow down to greet him. You're going to portray humility to salute that one. Then in our own side, what are they doing? So you should have gone after, after the redeemed Christian church of God. You should have shut that one down because they taught us what we are doing in the East. That's what you should have done. At least I know it as I know my name. If we are to count on standard and sincerity, how many of our people are regional pastors in Redeem? How many of our people are regional pastors in, in uh, what do they call it? Winners. How many of them? So why is it that the Yoruba people they are not fighting the, their pastors the way? Can you count one Igbo, one uh, pastor from the Igbo extraction who is far richer than David Oedubo? Oh, you kept quiet because they are collecting the money from the Igbos. Is that what you are trying to tell me? Is that what you are trying to tell me? So now you, you now remember that you can now fight for justice. But you never called the jailer to order. You never called the jailer to order for one day. I expected you as a wise person, the moment you heard this matter, you should have first blamed him. Then you take the next step by saying, free him, let him go. So where you always come in anywhere you see an opportunity. You were coming to the court of mass in Amicano to come and protest, right? You didn't even come there to protest. But when Deji was arrested, the day Deji, Deji went for, for protest, and he was attacked, I saw what you did. I saw what you did. So what stops you from calling on national protest over our own brother? So what stops you? You were supposed...
you were supposed to at least you would have called for a national protest you didn't do that but you sneakily goes to court anytime you want to attract sympathy or more followership from the Igbo extraction you do this always so call a spade a spade in Yoruba land, how many Yorubas do on camera to abuse their people? They don't do that. But when you see an avenue to create pity, when, when, when you see an avenue or, an, or any opportunity, any slight opportunity to maybe groom your name again, that's where you come in. How many Yorubas are fighting Yorubas? How many Yorubas? For the fact that when we talk about the traditional menana and all that, you guys do that one more. Most of these things they, they demonstrate in our own area, they call Loki. Do you think it is an Igbo uh, 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 culture? We don't do that. We don't do that, Showere. They were all imported from your own side. They were all imported. So you guys have your men and our people. You guys have the the big big churches. You guys have the best of uh, what was it called charms and native uh, herbalists and all that. I am too sure that most of the herbalists from the Igbo extraction cannot even dare the, those in your own side. Medical doctors from your own Yoruba extractions they will stop their vehicles. They will cross to Abo shop. They go there to drink Abo. How many do you see in Igbo land? How many show were? Nobody will even give them the license. Nobody will even give them the license. Then those people selling herbs in your own area, they are making money through herbs. They are making money through their... Kenyana, uh, where? Uh, Juju, what did they do? I do see how the Oni of Ife... I do see how people go there to bow. Even many musicians across the across the country. How many of Igbo musicians does the same thing from the Igbo extraction? One more show what I'm asking you. Before the Igbo man started church, started Christianity, it first got to your own area. So you should have said that enough of this thing and at least shut down the churches in your own area. Support your people to do that so that you can promote your Yoruba culture. You did not do that. You will have peace. As exposed as you are, as somebody who decided to assume the position of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, so you would have allowed people to get bullied over nothing. And you support that, but you are too quick to write. Hold on, I'm going to call you back, brother. I've been very, very busy. I've been very, very busy. Just give me some 30 minutes, please. So how many people from your, from, from, from your own side does the same things these guys are doing to our own extraction and area? You people started agitation that you wanted a country of yours. Oh, yeah, we thought we were together. Some of us, we are watching. But at some point, what happened? Betrayers became the case. And we all kept quiet. We, 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 we kept observing. The boho of your time is in the country. Moving about. His guys are carrying any, any kind of rifle they want or they wish. They follow him about with rifles. So what happens to the Igbo man? What happens to the Igbo man? Why is it that Tunam the Kano cannot get the same freedom and go to his own extraction and still order his own followers to, to maybe move about and guide him with rifles? But that's why the Kubo does the same thing. That's why the Kubo moves about with, with, with brandish rifles anyhow he wants. And they are being protected. Nobody talks about them. There's a video moving around online where Asari Dokuba was putting on a wristwatch of 50 million naira. You saw it. Did you talk about that? Because you guys have your group. 
And I'm sure you equally live the same lifestyle. So you can you can from your own side and throw a stone, maybe to fall on the building of another person in, within across the east, destroy the person's building while your own stands. So what stops your more election worry from calling for a national protest? Have you done that before? The answer is no. The days the son Dibohu appeared on camera and men were following him on rifle. Did you stand protest? Did you speak up against him? Because this is an insecurity against the country unity. The peace and orderliness of the country. Did you speak up? You kept quiet because he happens to be your own brother. But no Igbo man can try this. The Igbos will fight him. The Igbos will be against him. They will betray him. So when some of you talk these things, I look at you guys and laugh because I know the game. I know what you guys are doing. If we should be sentimental, if we should be, go and show me one, one anywhere they have one redeemed church. The state headquarters, where an evil man happens to be the in charge of that place. So you always come in anywhere you see an opportunity to trend over certain things. Unnecessarily, that's what you do. If you're a man of justice, you stick by the truth of justice. If I had wished to speak for anybody, if I wish to speak for anybody, I'll first go for the truth. I will first blame the person I should blame. If I'm to blame the Orish, I will blame the Orish. If I'm to blame the gardener, I will blame the gardener. That's very simple. Then before I can mediate for peace, that's what you should be doing. Have the charism of leadership in you. Have the quality of leadership in you. It's not just to put about good suit, then write long uh, pistols on the newspaper and publish it on your Sahara reporters. The standard of true human and true dignity is not there. So what stops you? What stops you? That time Ijele was doing so many things. Did you see where Ijele opened his mouth? And talked so many ill things about Ojuku. Didn't you see it? The videos are everywhere. Hey, Showere, let me remind you one thing right now. Let me remind you one thing right now, Showere. It's like I'm going to use broken on this one because of Facebook. So what? Eh? For river states, Igbo people after the civil war, the Igbos, they lose most of their properties. And later, later, there was a kind of meeting of which a governor of Igbo state, then, I think about 15 years or 16 years later, a man as the governor of the state, they the same back way. The same man went to the courts. Seeking for the properties of the Igbos to be returned back to the Igbos in River State. Omo um, do you know what happened? After the judgment was given, till today, after five years, very few Igbos they would just gather maybe four or five persons and allocate certain buildings back to them. If you have three buildings, they are going to uh, they allocate only one to you. That's what these great people are passing through. Hello? Yeah. 8.32. So, you get it. Their properties were being confiscated after the civil war. See, today there are people still fighting for their properties. Till now, many of them are no more alive. Who is going to speak for them? Omoyolo Shawere, you were aware of these things. Should I talk about Lagos? Many cities across the nation. These people, they've been bleeding. 
So nobody should add more pains to whatever they've been through. All this why? I expect you to be a man of justice. I expect you to be a man of sound mind. Is this the best time to sow discord amongst the Igbos? Or is this the best time to bring healing amongst them? Because they've seen a lot. A lot has happened to these people. You used to see Ijele. Show me your friend and I will tell you whom you are. If you can watch Ijele do these things and go scot free, you never cautioned him. And he happens to be your boy and your friend and you could not call him to order. That shows that you're not a good man. It shows that you are not a good man. Take this from me because you was contested for president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And which I happens to be one of the citizens. You cheered up your mind to come and govern. And thank God for his infinite mercy. Who knows the heart of all man. The Igbo man will leave his own coast. And he will go to Yoruba land. When he get there. You will see him build good houses. Good churches. Raise money tax there and everything. And you've not advised them to take their, their headquarters. Their church headquarters. Take it back home. They are raising money in Lagos and they are spending it in Lagos. And you are very very comfortable with that. I'm speaking on live video right now. I'll get back to you please. How long shall you do some of these things? You think you're doing i've never seen you take a lead to anything that will lead to justice equity and justice attach equity to justice put it up together all right this is the simple truth you were supposed to blame ijele at that first beginning when you now blame him, then you stand up and say, release him, free him, let him go. Without sin, there can't be. There can't be mercy. Petitions are still coming after him. And you are there ranting because you think you have Sahara reporters. There are bloggers that have beers about 10 million followers. They have more voices than you. Think, brother. You need to think. Hold on, please. Hold on, I'm coming. Yes, hello? Yes, allow him, allow him. He's a brother, allow him. Thank you, I am here. Governor Zogu is here. So you are not a fair man. You are not a man of truth. You are not a man who sees black and stick by it. Who sees white and says it's white. Black and stick by it. Who sees white and says it's white. That's not whom you are. Hold on, please. Let me open the door for my brother. So that's it. All right, when you want to correct a child, like as I am right now, Omo Ele Showere, Showere, hear this from me. You need to hear this from Governor Zoku. You need to hear this from me, Omo Ele Showere. Let me tell you this gospel truth. The moment I feel or I wish to maybe start moves that Ijele should be released, like me, I love Ijele, he's my brother, if you don't know. Ijele is an Imolite. And I wouldn't want to see his blood flow anywhere, even when he does not have conscience. I wouldn't want to see his blood sprinkled anywhere or anything happen to him. In the side of negative, because I wouldn't want only a black job and one near where he him. has not done well. But he needs to be corrected. He needs to learn. He needs to learn the difference between truth and lies. Reality and frame up.
Now let me tell you this thing. If I want to start the move that Ijele should be released, I will blame Ijele. And everybody who has seen my face on camera will listen to me. Everybody will listen to me. Do you know why they will listen to me? Because they know I've blamed him. So they will pay attention to me. Nobody will tell me no. Nobody will tell me no. That's number one. I am done with um, my message to Omoyele Showere. So I want to talk to this, my dear brother, up there, Matthias Izako. Matthias Izako. I saw a video you made and you were talking about the guy about Ebwe. All right. You were saying that uh, you people need about uh, you people need about uh, 1.3 million naira to get him out of that mess, to take him out from the hospital, and you said that you were going to pay the sum of 500 thousand naira, and the balance should be 800 and something thousand. Mataya says, Ako. I should have said I could afford that money. I should have said I could pay the one million three hundred thousand naira, even from here right now. But I want to point out something to you, Matthias Sezako. While you are talking on camera, you are sounding so bitter. And there is one particular thing that made me decide that I was going to say something to you right now. You said that the money Akuzayon gave. On behalf of that same man, that the money is there, and that the money is just to two hundred naira, five hundred naira for a band. Nagimwa mama metiaka. You 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 speak out of out of the abundance of wickedness. Why will you say that? Why will you say that? Somebody has already given money. I think Mata um Akosayan gave I think one million or five hundred thousand. I think so. So why are you why did you say you still need more money while there is money already paid by Akosayan? So if you don't want that money Akuzayon gave to you, why not return the money back to Akuzayon? Why not return the money back? You say you couple tippers. And you sell land at Kubeze uh, uh, housing estate or thereabouts. Please, Matthias, what stops you from taking 1 million naira or 1.3 million naira out from your own account and go and pay as their leader you are? What stops you from paying? So, you cunningly went to the other side and said that you're going to pay 500,000 naira, but you made account no more available. So, who is going to give account if more people pays above 3, 4, 5 million naira? Who is going to give account of that? You wanted to present a hatred against Akosayan, right? Then you now indirectly submit an account number. Wow. You're a wise man, bro. So I'm just here. The last I, I said, if I come this life, I'm going to say this. So your members, but if, you, if it were in the days of while you were working just civilly, you were not against any religion and all that. Somebody could just stand up and give five million naira to your organization. Somebody could pay. Somebody could deposit that money, including if I back. So what are you saying? Why are you why are you adding more hatred, more envy, more division in the land? All these things you guys are doing, your sponsors are not doing you well. If it is self decision or self made or self choice, you are not doing well to yourself. You're not doing what to Alibo. Don't be too paralytic against your own homeland. It is wrong. 
somebody gave money and you made us to understand that you've been spending your own money and you decided not to touch that one you kept it hey listen to me brothers let me tell you one thing listen to me you didn't tell us if people were already contributing money on behalf of that guy you didn't tell us now on that your message you say that why is it that people will go to police to go get police to arrest somebody that why didn't they allow amadio to speak for them matthias you were the first person who arrested one native doctor they call um alusiegu am i lying from aguleri you did So why didn't you use your own offer as you said that why is it that Ebukobi or certain pastors did not use the Holy Ghost fire to create blindness upon someone? Why didn't you use your own omenala to fight Alusiego? Why did you go, since he's an omenala person, you should have gone to summon him before any shrine. But you didn't do that. You went to the police and arrested him. Another point is this. Matthias, so, uh, what's he called? Akuzayon came to the hospital and saw that guy, met with that guy, and gave that guy the sum of 500,000 or 1 million, right? And all of a sudden, you made us to understand that the money was now kept in your own custody, that you decided not to touch the money, according to your statement, that you decided that anytime this guy gets well, you people will not give him money, that, that money back. That shows that you guys collected the money from him and kept it. As an ass beat. Wise people. And the guy in the way can kill on a hospital. But another federal Lolodo. A capital junkie. Because the money was given to him. The money was given to him by Akuzayon. So how come the money is now in your custody? And the custody of your Ndi Omena Labuzi Ezioku Nando. So no be on that call, no sense. No, 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 Attack him the person they preach under the solemn law of Federal Republic of Nigeria that which authorizes freedom of worship. You see, most times when the chat too wise on about who won't even know, lack of intelligence and standard and principle. So those are the very few questions I have for you. Matthias, in some areas you do well. And I have been, I've been appreciating you for that. In some areas, you've been doing well. But don't let yourself turn to King Kong because it's not going to work. There are mechanisms that supersede every nonsense. Until we fall victim or until we go across or beyond the tables where we should stop. Then that day we will know and learn. That they will learn. So they gave you money. They gave you money. They gave they gave the guy money. The guy now took the money Akuzayon gave to him and now submitted to Ndo Mena Labozi Ezioku Nando. And you guys collected the money and turned in the other side of camera and started asking for a, a help of one point something millionaire. Who told you that Agosayan refused to pay his hospital bill? Have you called him? Did you allow the young guy to call him? But you will call him by the corner and tell him one thing or the other. But he's still suffering. The guy is still poor. So all these things you're doing, I don't know if you think you're doing well. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if that guy leaves the hospital and gets fine, 
he will still look for something to do for a living at least to have to to be able to put food on it on his table then I am sure that you are still going to on camera and beg people to support him to start business. While I could say somewhere said, if you leave the hospital, I'm going to give you two million naira to start up life. So you're against that. All you said is that two two hundred naira I bought a band, I bought a band, five hundred naira I bought a band. That's if you print money. I'm sure if if anybody. If you buy something somewhere and give anybody one thousand naira, and the person maybe you buy some, you bought something of eight hundred naira, and the person is to give you two hundred naira. If they give you two hundred naira, you take. If you know that two hundred naira is no money, go and print fake, fake two hundred naira. Go and print it. So many of you who talks out of points, or who thinks you are wise. Hence, there is money there to pay, according to Akosayon. And I am sure, I know it as I know my name, that if that guy from that bed call Akosayon on the phone and say, they're about discharging me and the bill is one million three hundred and something thousand, Akosayon will pay that money that same minute. But you came in with your men and abuse, it's your Nando. You came with it and collected the other money. What if the caricature you even did? After Akuzayon gave that money, I thought that the moment they want to discharge the guy, you will just wire five million and the guy will leave. Maybe you buy him a Range Rover and turn his life around. That's very simple. You people should stop creating internal hatred amongst brothers. Stop. I am not God. You are not God. We cannot be God. We cannot be. You've succeeded in spoiling the mind of Akuzayan from taking care of. And one thing you don't, you don't know is this. The guy is from a boy state. Akuzayan is from a boy state. So he has every opportunity to help his brother. But you've brought in your own sentiment. Because the guy on the sick bed also... Does not cannot reason. He cannot even allow his brain to communicate. He has been inside one room for some months now. So you should have allowed him to have access to his own destiny, helper. That's very simple. Why are you bringing about more frustration? Trying to create an enmity around the guy for him. When you finish creating your enmity, you leave. My name is Governor Zioku. I know everyone wants to end the very simple in Alibo right now. This thing is, is common. When you have a group and you want that group to go far, you recruit them and have everyone them, but they just go about insulting people, put on the internet and everywhere. Come on, respect to them. That's why you see Nibu and where is there? Ebukobi is not a good man, he's an evil man. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Peter B came out for presidency. You guys fought him. Even your elders that should have supported him. Zero. So the betrayers, not a DNA no. It is in your own vein to do such things. It is like the snake or like the scorpion. It is built in them to stink at people. Konye Gabiana Sonyi Ibu na like ya ya. Namdi Kano. Where is he? Every Ibu man is fully successful. Go and check around him. Obu mo wenho obra wan ni ane anaka. Obu mo wenho obra wan ni anaka. Ni anaka. Or betrayal wan ni ana no around him. Or something that is chasing him. Yomre wan ni. Bring him. I will shake him. He's a good man. And if there is, if there are such persons, they don't come home. They don't come home. They don't even smile with some of your kinsmen. You know why? Green snake under green grass. Only you will keep a motor. See, I just America. Just betray one year in America. Allah, Allah, what is Hogan? 
Ebo te ibaz ibe che obu ago. Obu ago ne bura ago. Obu ago ne bube ronche. Obu ago ne bufu e wunkete. Mugu. Mugu. The king in your village in any respect. But you go to Yoruba land, you go and bow to Oni of Ife. Mamri ewu. Your leader self went as far as reducing your kings. Reducing them to be nothing. In the, I told them one day that in the whole of my, my local government, they, they were supposed to even have only one easy, only one king. But out of the 28, they, they've succeeded in creating 28 autonomous community. Rochas was busy giving them the tail like pure water. And right now, the king's end of value. Even when the Rochas Okrocha can rise then and tackle Ilo Mwanya, wepo, wepo, Ilo Mwanya, noche. Why? Because politics. Because now President Gulo Jonathan Eperi a visit. Now after those abnormalities all cause those you know one you know one you know one thing with you guys with some of you people saying no no more men and no the intelligent no work sense you know it and all third man land bridge. Eji brain no no we are not third man land bridge. After course, which are those havoc and laid wrong foundations right now, even he himself is affecting him because he can't go to his house in Oboka and sleep. Now, some of you will say, I want due process, due process, due process. Oh, so you wanted me not to arrest somebody? It's your the person. Is that what you want? I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. So I need to follow the right way. Somebody will leave to take laws into his hands and go through the due process. You still blame the person that why didn't the person go and invite the blood of Jesus? But you only see Omen Alabuzo Ndoneziyoku arrested Alusiegu. My name is Governor Zioku. This is where I will stop today. I'll see you some other time. I'll see you some other time. For those of you fools who speaks up and accuse us of being bribed by anyone, I need to ask yourself some certain questions. Okay? Ask yourself certain questions because you needed not to buy stupidity as a house property. You need to wake up and think like human being. And it is it is it is is a kind of a leveled insult against yourself. If you live abroad and all you do is in the overseas or in that country where you live, there are peace, there's peace and orderliness there. There has never been religious crisis there. And all you do is you send back money home and order some group of elements. To start causing problems. Then you live abroad, you comment maybe on pages or maybe on my page trying to defend your so-called omenana. And you send money back home. You're a fool. You're a fool because you can't even kill lizard in the US. You can't even try that in Europe. In why a lot here. In why a bag of no kunante. Oh God. I got bag of hank of man and take a bullet tag in this place. If a boy in Arab in a go near the Mugu. It can happen on a go for there. Your your one of your senators here went to abroad. He gave you that place. He didn't return to today. Oh, man, like he went there. Why didn't your ditch and they also go there and bail him and bring him out again? Is he not worshipping the god of Omenala? So when they talk that you live abroad does not uh, you put on sweater or you know to that place. You will you think you are not, you are, you've become an expert. You can talk anyhow, or you can do anyhow here. You are just there, maybe some of you to save some money. You get because or a problem in the village. You get a lot of back once in a while, and you go back. 
e bari e jisi ka ba e jisi e rota small house na your village with your waste generation name mono that place obro ni na practice in a practice o menana for real tradition and culture you should have left your job in the united states in europe and come back leave your job in england they be at in a village kai wure nsu nyeki kai ka na nyanye godo nyeki kai kai chief onu tete e bo e bo kai kai All you guys want to Kenya no space no je buru kala ba shokite. Do you know how many people ma batra logo? But rokite no way. Okite has never better their lives. You live abroad e kare ka Philippian mugu. So bia ka bia, hey, listen to me. You stay abroad, right? So I I I need to help you now. You need to be a call omena la person. You need to send some money back home. Car car for trage Arabinago. Car for trage offer. In not to all those your nonsense in Adosa na our street in our village here. In not a man for time where we put up okay. Buru kalabashi sacrifice the Adosa na center of the road. Ibu abra. You go to our seas. You pollute them. Why don't we carve? Uh, let us carve offer for you. Let us come offer for you. Men get away be DHL not here. So you know to that place where you book where we book cook and come to their junction. They are poor those things. Key up and one that day. You don't know but how you have sense. And anybody, let me tell you one thing. Anybody you see who lives abroad, who put this woman and an issue up a fool. You have five children in abroad. You live abroad. You have five children. Your wife is from Mozambique or from Algeria because now we're in Africa. You, are, you get convinced now one nigga. You look on your body. One am more one. Or one nigga born a black American. Or more like Omar today. And one of them China. And one of them can as a hibo. Had they a new hibo? Had they a sweet hibo? Had they? They don't speak hibo. They don't even know where they came from. Give me a to bowl or not two months before we be a if a popia or he got anymore with or he don't anymore no car or he don't a legos. In on Europe, is who's got a child those things and more one in when we are a lost and wasted generation. At the end of the day, no, they are now it be too weebo. It will honey, oh, we oh, oh, it's all free or for weebo, Brunishi. In a call, it is nonsense. Na camera, I will be nago ga, I will be nago ga. Many of you self will be that place. Na cut us all this kind of nonsense. Igwe ke je join o there. You don't even have comfort. Who will give you driver's license because you wanna, you wanna, your brain had a roar. Who will give you? So out of the little money you save, because you know they change here one euro, but they go to the town of Nigeria. He send earlier this. Junkies. So, I send the throne of the money. Or who can account account to get pay? He move. Oh, man, I'm not a boss. He's a guy. Ah, I don't be a guy. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's here, it's here. And now, I'm not going to carry nonsense. Hey. I think that there are some videos you sent to me, right? Everyone, there's a one age worship song. Yes. So they are not look at confused people. How does a Hannah have a worship song? Gia ne ne fe ne me na Hannah me here's a one. Thank you for the five hundred stars. So only this worship song. God, do you know how dirty some of our people are? No, they. You know that some of these people, do you know that some of these guys you see here, some of these eku case you see here, and where some some beer parlor or bars over here are now, all these bush bars, ega if you go there, see na haji na ha bundi o mena la bozi ezio ku onde tradition na o mena la keneko keneko, you see them drinking beer with worship song. It, it happens in your own area. 
in the worship song on Angubia. In one way or the other. In a day, okay, say, in a guy, each go in any my hero, the Jonah. Are you a Christian or one of your mela? Or second, I'll be a Christian and say, I'm a man, go from you. Your turn. Then the fridges in your house, bring it out and destroy it and start using Udu. That is true tradition. Don't wear clothes. Don't wear clothes. Obo, and we have a I'm back and I'm again. And the jagger cheeky, mbabu. That's what you need to wear. You don't need to wear turkey shirt because to every cloth you buy, you are patronizing the white man. So, can you see the importation of clothes? The Android phone you are using, Matthias has not been able to produce one Android phone. He's still buying from China. Those motor parts on a on a couple, a couple, or no on a produce. The bearings and everything Matthias is still using, it still comes from the white man. The soul to this is shoe to here now. A barrel the shoe, there's no problem. But the soul and the leather was produced by a white man. Thank you for the 500 stars. If on Hanako. And I call nonsense. So this is where I will leave you now. It is not in my usual way to always come live on this particular page. But I decided to do so right now today. Thank you everyone. See, you can believe in everything. But don't believe in certain things that turns you stupid. It is not necessary. All right. So stop using your Android phone. Stop. The white man made it possible that we can use these things. They, as they are important things, they are bringing alongside the religion. So can we stop all of these things at the same time and have our life back living? Let's go back to Red Mod House. You built a one day king for yourself. You have lightnings in the house and all of them were imported from china and you're telling somebody who has not even built one room of his own to follow you and start doing omenala buzi ezioku omenala odinala hey listen to me those your native doctors who claims to be uh arobinago or whatsoever do you observe one thing they do if they appear on camera they'll be showing you that they are using iphone 13 pro mass they will be pressing it while talking. I got, I got go life for, I got go life for. That is not a rape in a phone. No people are seeing so. Or they go seeking all the, all the five phones. Or never are there. Or are there? Or are there? Hey man, or never are there. Or they are Why are they always making video close to their cars? Because that is the highest thing they have. That's all they have. They are posing with the same people telling you to run away from white man, this and that. They are using a phone, an iPhone, produced by a 13 years old child in a foreign man's country. If you are not bragging, so the company that produces these phones in thousands, in millions, the owner, have they been able to brag like the way you do? But if you buy one car that week, I am not going to the internet. You'll be showcasing the car up and down because you didn't work out for it. I'll be here with an agambo. My name is Governor Zoku. Good night from here. Let me attend to certain important things. I'll see you some other time.